everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we are back at Disneyland and they have all new food lineup for 2024. We're going to try a bunch of the new items, including a chili dog in a baked potato and new food in Galaxy's Edge. We'll check out some new Star Wars merch when you come with us on this adventure. that we get to Disneyland early in the morning. When we do, I'm always surprised at how many characters there are everywhere. First up, we're not going far. We're going to Refreshment Corner on Main Street, and this is where we're gonna get the pepperoni Mickey-shaped pretzel. This is topped with fried pepperoni crumbles and Parmesan cheese and served with spicy marinara. And you know, I like my marinara spicy. Mickey never looked so crusty. This doesn't taste like pepperoni pizza. It kind of tastes like a good breadstick especially with that like Parmesan and the spicy marinara. It's good, it's not as great as the cinnamon roll pretzel that was here previously, but this is, I like that they're like now doing different pretzels like they do the churros. I'd give us like a, a four out of five peters. I think the problem is there's a garlic cheesy pretzel bread just a few steps away from this, which got the Ordinary Adventure Galaxy. So I feel like, would you get this over that? No. This is spicy though. My mouth is like heating up. So if you like spicy, maybe get this one. I'd, I'd still get that. Also at Refreshment Quarter, there's a chili cheese potato dog. This is a baked potato topped with a hot dog, spicy chili, cheese sauce, sour cream, green onions, and spicy corn chips. This smells so good. And I know that it looks insane. A baked potato <laughs> slathered in a bunch of different stuff, including a hot dog. This is either the most genius thing that Disney's ever done or the most horrific thing that Disney's I'm not sure if it's It genius. smells good. Like we've had the chili from a freshman corner before and it's actually like pretty good. So this has potential. At first I was like, how are you supposed to eat that? Are you supposed to pick it up? Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pick it up. Don't tell me it's actually good. <laughs> no. It's like a classic chili dog that you know and you love with that extra creamy cheese sauce. The chips just give it like a nice crunch. Otherwise, I feel like it would be too soft. And then a perfectly cooked baked potato straight out of the oven, piping hot. It's good. It's really good. Five out of five. You. Five out of five. Okay, well, you Why get a chili dog when you could get this? It's like a chili dog plus a baked potato. This is a mess. This is a messy... <laughs> what were they thinking? How did we go from eating the best food in Hawaii to eating a hot dog and a baked potato with <laughs> chili on it? And why? why is it good? Because it's a baked potato with a hot dog in it. You know it's going to be good. I hate to say this. Do five, it. five out of five. Yes. <laughs> this is insane. It's insane. Literally insane. So I realize why I enjoy this so much. Besides the fact that it's absolutely delicious and like going to be a go-to item from here on out every time we come to the parks. When I was a kid, my grandpa used to make these things called potato boats. They were kind of like a baked potato, but like mashed. And then he put like sliced hot dogs on top with like cheese. So it was like, a, I'll have to insert a photo of it so you could see what I mean, but it's bringing back those memories for me. I 
want to get my fortune about how my year is going to be. So let's get a fortune from this guy. Look at his eyelashes. Wow, he has nicer eyelashes than you. I didn't realize that this fortune was going to be like in literal pirate talk. He says, ye sails your ship with a steady helm and a weather eye for ye luff of sails. Ye may be generous to a fault. That is true. Mark well me words. Generosity consists less in given much than in given wisely. I like that. Next up, we made our way over to the Mint Julep Bar where they have some seasonal beignets. They have great beignets and you can make it Mardi Gras, which is just like a little side of green icing and gold pearls. Because if you didn't know, the colors of Mardi Gras is purple, green, and gold. These look beautiful. They're like bright purple. Oh my God, and they smell like grape too. Look at that. Ooh, they're so pretty. We only got three. You have the option to get three or six. I feel like I didn't do, oh my God. I love like grape soda and grape candy. So these have potential. Oh my God. falling out of there. Oh no. <laughs> you don't want to shake them too hard. If you are a fan of grape soda or grape candy or Dimetap. <laughs> Wasn't that grape flavored? I don't know. Very sweet, but a little bit sour. I feel like you're either really gonna like this or you're really gonna hate this. I personally think it's pretty good. I'm glad we only got three though, because I think six would be way too many. And then the sauce is just like a, a royal icing. It just, I feel like you need the sauce. Like it kind of cuts into the, the bitterness of the, the grape. I'll give it like a four out of five. I think it's really good. I gotta say this Mickey looks like he got punched in the face though. <laughs> does he? Yeah. I know, he's kind of like deformed. Okay, my Mickey looks a little bit better than yours. He does. He wasn't punched <laughs> in the face. Sunkiss grape soda. That's what it tastes like. I always have the problem when I like eat it, I like inhale and then it like almost makes me want to cough. Yeah, you have to eat it slowly. Okay, <laughs> say that and then you choke on it. We're standing next to, what is this, like the crystal shop? Where they have all these like fancy little trinkets and there's like the ultimate butt check here with the seven dwarves. Look at the buns on him. Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> you must work out. Jeez, look at the butt on that. Yeah. He must work out. So next up, we were gonna go to Harbor Galley to get these chocolate chip cookies. It's a new item and people seem to love them. Our friend Just Ask Danny, uh, our friend E. There's actually a bunch of people I've seen that said, like these chocolate chip cookies are a must they have. They will change your life is what I've heard. <laughs> and they're sold out. Apparently they keep selling out or they just they didn't even get their shipment of them this morning. Yeah, we went up to the counter and like we found out they were sold out. Everybody in line Everybody was like. Everybody was like super bummed, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll get, this just makes me want them even more and it'll be like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> and like looking at, look at Splash Mountain. Yeah, they're straight up like up there with like jackhammers and stuff. Blow like, torches. There's all these like loud noises. They're like banging on stuff. They're actually working on this. Like that makes me happy to see. What do you think of the new water tower for Tiana's Boots? Um, Who knew that they were replacing Splash Mountain with the restaurant? Okay. Tiana's restaurant. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> How fun would it be if you were like on the ride and then they like handed you a beignet or they handed you something and then you had to hold on to it really tight when you went down the drop. I don't think it's gonna happen but I bet you they're gonna like pipe in some of like the, mm. the beignet smells and stuff. This just gets me so excited because seeing them actually work on it means that it's actually happening and it's gonna be here before we know it. Yeah it's going fast. It is. I see some smoke coming from behind there. Yeah look over here there's parts of Splash Mountain are just being like torn open. I don't know why, but that makes me kind of sad. I'm sure they'll replace it with some equally impressive walls, right? <laughs> okay, enough of construction. We'll leave that to David at Fresh Bake. We're going to head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because there's a new food item. There may be stormtroopers. Take the high ground when you need to. that Fennec Shand is no longer stationed on Batu, and we just saw Mandalorian hanging out with Boba Fett walking around doing their patrol. So I wonder if because Fennec Shand's not here now they like 
patrol the streets of the marketplace together. Next up, we made our way over to Docking Bay 7 where they have a brand new food item. This is the Serbat Valley Greens with roasted tippet. This is marinated chicken, mixed greens, quinoa veggie mix, mini peppers, olive, cotilla cheese, and cilantro dressing. Wouldn't you say this is a very aesthetically pleasing looking salad? Yes. The plating is nice. <laughs> How about that plating? Yes. Yeah, we're here with David from Fresh Baked. What's up, guys? It's funny, I just mentioned that. Yeah, go watch here. him if you want all the construction updates. He does a much we'll better be here job. we all day though. Friday looking at all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're just like, look at those people hammering. Yeah. I actually, I do make that observation quite a There's a They were hammer. loud. Yeah. And then I literally saw like five guys just like banging the side of <laughs> the ride. Anyways, there used to be this really good chicken salad here and they got rid of it. So I'm hoping this is a nice replacement because that was one of our favorite salads. It looks pretty similar. I think it just might have a different kind of dressing and some different veggies on there. And in case you were wondering, Surbat Valley is actually on the planet of Batu. It's just outside of Black Spire Outpost. I imagine that's where all the farmers live. They harvested this wonderful salad for us. So I'm excited to try it. Yeah, if you talk to a lot of the citizens here, they will tell you that they, they are from Surbat Valley. Yeah, so this is kind of like a fancy taco salad, like with that cilantro dressing. Say it really does look good. Almost everything that we've ever had from Docking Bay 7 is a banger. It's so good. So I'm glad that they have finally added a salad back on the menu. It's not as good as the salad that was here before. I'm sorry to compare, but that salad was just so good. But if you're looking for something fresh and a little bit more like on the healthier side, I would recommend getting this. The cilantro dressing is very strong though. So if you don't like cilantro and you're one of those people that think like cilantro tastes like soap, maybe don't get this. But I like like the olives and stuff in there and there's like little sliced cucumbers and stuff. Just, it makes me feel like I'm being healthy at Disneyland. I'd give it like a three and a half out of five. So we decided to go into Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, see if there's anything new. And there, there actually was. was. I'm surprised. There's a, an Ahsoka bus and it's pretty big. Yeah, it's her with her two lightsabers. I want to say it's like a foot and a half or two feet long. Yeah, and it's the live action Ahsoka as well. And they also have a tour poster for the Max Rebo Band. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want that. It's like limited edition though, so it's $400, but it is autographed by the artist. And number. And number. It this, is awesome. It doesn't say how many they made, it just yeah. has a number 14. I love that. Yeah. I love that Max Rebo is finally getting the respect that he deserves it's in that too. crowded day here in Batu today. There were so many kids surrounding Chewbacca, it was kind of heartwarming. But now I think we're gonna to head to a galaxy far, far away in the world of tomorrow. And we're going to the Galactic Grill where we're getting the Starlight Taro Tea. This is butterfly tea with whipped taro cream and blueberry flavored spheres, which I think are both. And by the way, they gave us a, a plastic straw. So congrats to Disney for finally giving us a plastic straw for our boba. I'm not sure if it's big enough to cross, you know, to hold the boba, but we'll find out. This is a beautiful drink. It looks like a galaxy in a cup. When you mix it around, especially when like the taro cream mixes with the, the tea, it really does look like a galaxy in itself. The straw is big enough to, to pop the boba up into your mouth. And this is delightful. I gotta admit that it wasn't until I was at Alani that I ever had like a boba milk tea. And I'm on my way to becoming a connoisseur. It has an almost like cinnamon taste to it, almost like an horchata, but also has some like taste like taro. And the blueberry popping pearls give it a little bit of like surprise and fun. I actually quite love this, so I'm gonna give it a five out of five pizza. It tastes more coconutty to me than like a cinnamon flavor. I don't know I, where you're getting that from. I feel like we are like number one, the number one taro fans like in the world. We love it so much. This just like reminds me of like being in Hawaii. Five out of five ordinary adventure star. This is like a must to get. You gotta try this. Since we're in Tomorrowland, we decided to stop into Star Traders. Look at this new Star Wars bucket hat. I love this whole style. I'm not sure if I like the the font of Star Wars, but I love like the little Jawas carrying R2, Princess Leia talking to Chewbacca. 
And look at this one. Star Wars is like this felt material. And this is the back of that sweater. I love Leia and R2. I don't know how I feel about this like felt. I like it. You like that? Yeah. And I noticed they're like re-releasing some of the original figures. Look at this. They got the original Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, this is so cool. God, I don't need this, but I need it. Do you know what I mean? I support you. I think it's pretty awesome. And this is my favorite movie. Look at this. They also have like a Return of the Jedi set and a New Hope set. <laughs> yeah. How, how amazing is that? It's so good. Did you know that this guy's name was Yak Face? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. I, I think the action figures named him. The action figures named a lot of the characters in Star Wars. Yak face. Yak face. Because <laughs> he has a yak face. I, I get it. I see, I never he he has one. a resting yak face. <laughs> Don't we all? Force ghosts of Anakin, Yoda, and Obi Wan. That is so cool. Look at their like shimmery like <laughs> force ghost outfits. Yoda, yeah, I, Yoda. I love that to make them force ghosts, you just like put this blue cloth around them. There's even a water bottle. I love this art. <laughs> it's. Leia brushing Chewbacca with like a brush. Look at the top of the water bottle. I don't need another water bottle. I think we already have like 10 Star Wars water bottles. It says beep boop. <laughs> oh, look at the other side. Yeah, I guess they're supposed to be R2D2 ears. There's also, I saw some Princess Leia ears too. They look like cinnamon rolls. It's not a lounge fly bag. It's not a backpack. It's like a little crossbody bag with R2. I love this like cartoon style. And it lights up too. It lights up and it's trip. This matters to me. It's a AAA battery, so you don't have to look for those little C batteries. And like, <laughs> you know. It's like they sell that Max Rebo tour poster outside of Batu. Look at this other one with Luke Skywalker. Oh, the snake is there. The orange snake. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I remember when you used to buy the Yoda action figure. It came with that orange snake. Yeah. yeah. There it is. I feel like we're finding so many things that I've never seen before. But we this is like something I picked up and I was like, I do not recognize that creature from I Star Wars. I thought it was like a baby Ewok or something, but I looked at the tag and it's actually a lava meerkat from the planet of Navarro sitting in like a little lava bed. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I think this Cara was on Dune the had one, right? Yeah, this was on the Mandalorian. So there you go. You can find everything here. Look at this Grogu Pram backpack. Oh, you can actually, yeah, you can put them on your back, carry him around. What I also noticed, oh my God. And Peter, please. I had this first. Yeah, they they they're copying your style. They are. <laughs> please, I will buy this for you. Please. It's not my color green. comments with Peter we want you to start wearing a bucket hat, hat again he's like is over his bucket hat phase no that's and not I true keep, I keep finding good ones for him and he won't let me buy them for him that's not true the thing is I wear a bucket hat to protect my head during summertime it's now winter time I don't need a bucket okay well it's gonna be warm again and this one there's even like a little frog on the back it's so cute I don't know how this turned into a merch vlog we were like <laughs> trying to eat it a lot of food. turned into a Star Wars merch vlog. There's just so much stuff that I feel like I've never seen before. Look at this onesie. Here for the snacks. Mando and Grogu. I like this one. It's simple, elegant, classy. And it features their new ship. Yeah. Because they're both oh, in yeah, like their right. little... Oh yeah, you're right. He's in like his little like... Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cute. Because I feel like a lot of this merch is like Mando season one with him in the pram. But that's Mando season three. Tap, tap, tap when he like taps the little glass. Okay. Do I need, do I? <laughs> All right. But this is the last time. <laughs> this shirt has Yoda in the pocket, and then you go down to the side. Do, do or, or do, do not. not. The, there is no try. no try. And there's the X-Wing coming out of the water. Oh my god. I love all these like little details. Next up, we're going to Jolly Holiday, which is one of our favorite restaurants at Disneyland. They actually have a bunch of new pastries, but the one that caught our eye is this strawberry stuffed croissant. And this is a flaky croissant stuffed with vanilla pastry cream and strawberries. And as you guys know, we just went to Japan and we became obsessed with the sandwiches that had fruit and cream in them. And when I saw this on the menu, I was like transported back to Japan and I'm like, I wonder if this is even like 
if it's even like a little bit as good as those sandwiches, I'll be happy. Looks, looks fantastic. <laughs> it looks, it almost looks like melted cheese, but that's like a lot of cream in there. This is so good. It really does remind me of those sandwiches from Japan. My only complaint is that it's like, it feels like it's been sitting in a fridge, so it's like a little bit cold, but the croissant itself is like nice and buttery and flaky. I want you to try this, Peter, because I don't know if I'm just like imagining it or what, but like it's, it really does almost taste like those sandwiches. Five out of five. Because it's kept cool, it almost tastes like one of those donuts, like an eclair or something that has like a cold center. Yeah. Like uh, the Cosmic Orbs over oh, yeah. Adamant's campus. But this tastes like it's like healthier because it has I don't know about that. I don't think it is. <laughs> But it is a little unwieldy because it's like that croissant shape. Oh, it's so good. But so good. I'm gonna give it, I'd say four and a half out of five. Not quite. Oh my. Not quite a star. Oh my. Okay, I'll finish it, thanks. I just want people to know that we're not being serious when we say things are healthy because it has fruit or vegetables. Like us saying that doesn't mean that it's actually healthy. <laughs> it's a joke. I know, it's just a joke. <laughs> Although that salad that I had earlier, I feel like was healthy. I got the beef media toasted cheese. This has pepper jack, onion, cilantro, salsa verde on sourdough, served with consomme. So this isn't new. It comes back every year during like the winter time and we love it. It might be our favorite thing here. Actually our favorite thing here is the toasted cheese sandwich, but that's here all year round. And that's our favorite thing in the parks. This is only <laughs> here for a couple months. So if you've never had it, come here and get this. Get it while you can, people. But I've been waiting a year to try this again. Here we go. <laughs> I just love the sandwiches here. It comes on this toasted sourdough bread. It's so buttery. <laughs> and this beef is so tender and flavorful. And that consomme just makes it all fall apart in your mouth. And like a, a, like a flavor explosion. Five out of five people. This is just as good as I remember. I'm gonna copy something from our friends over at Views and Cues. They have what they call like a Hall of Fame. Or something is so good that it's inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I think this might be, it's obviously an ordinary adventure in Galaxy. Yeah, I think this is gonna be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Just saying, it's that good. We were standing in line with some girl and she's like, have you guys ever been here before? Like, what should I get? And I literally told her that the sandwich would change her life. And I feel like I stand corrected. There's always a huge line in front of the castle to get your picture taken. But pro tip, if you go to the left or the right of the castle, there's normally not that many people over there. And you could get an even better photo in my opinion. But that's just a secret between you and me. Don't tell anyone. that's better at night than Main Street at Disneyland. It's like so magical. And there's stuff that like people miss. Like over by the magic shop, there's this thing that you stare at for 30 seconds and it like warps your hand. So if you've ever missed that, you gotta do it. 9, 10, 11, 12, oh 13, 14, oh 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now look at the back of your hand. Oh my God, I'm tripping out. <laughs> my hand is like moving. Oh, that's cool. How have I never done this before? <laughs> wow, it's like my hand was like going like this. Okay, we gotta get out of here because I'm surprised I haven't been through Oh yeah, there's crows, every, we, we mentioned this before, but every sunset, the crows come. I don't know why, still haven't figured out why. It's a crow thing. It's a crow it's thing? Like a, it's a crow, crow thing. Just look it up, it's a crow thing. And speaking of nighttime at Disneyland, if you've never been here for New Year's Eve, then you gotta see what it's like. We'll put the video right over there. I wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons, that include. Tiffany Bailey and Velcro Grant, thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.